What's good Foundation Nation today? We are doing a review of the Dynamic Disc Trespass. This is an older disc. This has been quite around for quite some time. One of Dynamic's first distance driver molds, if not their first one. It might have been their first one actually. Um, I should do my research. But this is a driver that is typically a hyzer flip driver. Um, for somebody with lower arm speeds, you're gonna maybe have a little bit of stability, but for higher arm speeds or somebody who throws like myself, kind of like that you know, average. Uh, this is kind of a hyzer flip driver typically, but we're gonna give this a few throws today. This one here is a Supreme Trespass. Uh, so this is one of their new plastic blends. Technically, they had a new mold approved for this, but as far as I'm concerned, or as far as I know, it flies, it's supposed to be the same disc as the other Trespass, uh, just a new plastic. So a lot of wind out here today, as you can tell, probably blowing pretty steady 15 to 20 gusting probably to 30 so keep that in mind as i am throwing down this way we're gonna have like a tail left to right so that's what we're gonna be starting with Nice flight. I mean, that was pretty much what I would expect because of the tail left to right wind. It popped up to flat, but it didn't turn. The tailwind kind of kept it stable. Once it started fading, it got shoved down by the wind at the end. But a nice flight and uh, really nice into that tailwind. All right, I've actually, I've always loved the Trespass. It's been in and out of my bag several times throughout my disc golf career. Um, I always loved it for a consistent, when I was first getting into distance drivers, I loved it for like, I learned to hyzer flip with it. Um, all that being said, I never threw it into headwinds, so this will be very interesting. I'm going to put it on a considerable amount of hyzer. I'm going to throw a little bit di directionally this way, so it's straight into the headwind that is now gone. All right, it's back. Straight into the headwind, um, and we'll just see what it does into that headwind. I mean, that headwind stalled it, so it went basically nowhere. But, I mean, I was able to throw it. I didn't hit it 100% power, probably like 70% power. A lot of hyzer. Got a full flip-up ride. You know, that's kind of what, in calm conditions, not thrown into a headwind, when I throw it as hard as I can, that's the flight I get straight out of the box. Um, and that's why I kind of always liked the Trespass for, was it just lets you, like, wide open field, grip it and rip it. It's going to flip up and just ride for you. Similar to what I use the Thrasher for. I think the Thrasher and the Trespass, they feel very different, but they accomplish very similar things. All right, going back the other way with the Trespass now, I'm gonna give it some, uh, some Anheuser, see how it kind of flexes out. Woo! I crushed. I, okay, there it is. Oh my God. Wow. <laughs> As you can see, I didn't even feel like I put 100% into that. Well, I definitely didn't. But with a little tail left to right, if you get the right wind and a disc like the Trespass, I mean, that was effortlessly over 400 feet. And it's just because you got it on the right angle. So that disc has bomber potential for sure. Trespass time. Back in this headwind, I'm going to try to go a little forehand action. Because um, that's another thing I always loved the Trespass for, was since it is that flippier distance driver slot, it was really easy to forehand for me. Um, into a headwind's gonna be a little tougher, but I'm gonna try to throw a little forehand hyzer and see see what type of action we get out of it. <laughs> yeah, about what I expected. Flipped up to flat. In calm conditions, I that's why I always loved the trespass for, is I don't have big by any means of the word forehand power. So what it allowed me to do is have the Trespass in my hand, very comfortable disc for forehand for me. It allows me to have a backhand hyzer flip to turnover or like big ante um, disc and a great, as you just saw, tailwind driver disc. And then it allows me to have a full flight forehand disc two in one because that doesn't always happen. So I really like the Trespass for that type of shot too. I'm gonna give the Trespass one more rip. We're on the tailwind side now. I'm gonna throw it just kind of flat. Trespass, pretty tried and true disc. A lot of people already know about it. It's been around for a while. And the Supreme Plastic is just another great addition to 
um, a disc that has been doing that for a long time basically it's a hyzer flip machine you can throw huge anti flexes if you have a little less arm speed um, it's a fantastic like jump into the distance driver world because it is kind of a forgiving disc but it is probably one of my favorite trilogy discs it's something that i would kind of gap when i threw a lot of trilogy i would kind of gap it like underneath my raider and before like an enforcer so it's kind of on the flippier side of things but it's not uselessly flippy that's what i like about it it's like right out of the box you can get good hyzer flips out of it but you saw we threw some into the headwinds that were like okay like it does all right in wind it's fantastic disc all around really great distance driver um i would highly recommend checking out and especially in that supreme plastic we have them at foundationdisc.com make sure to check it out we'll see you in the next review